Hello UBC and welcome to UBC Rec Sports Desk. I'm Scoop Stevens. And I'm Linda Featherstone. Authorities are still having trouble reeling in Rexercise. The program went rogue this term, and instead of the usual swims, runs, and stair climbs, they've been experimenting with activities such as football, dodgeball, and futsal. We at Sports Desk advise that you steer clear of the SRC this week, as Health Promotions, the evil masterminds behind the program, have taken a dodgeball session hostage. On a more serious note, February is National Eating Disorder Awareness Month. Find out about the signs and personal accounts at thepoint.ubc.ca. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? This was the question on the minds of many this past week when UBC Rec's newest event, Globetrotter, kicked off. San Diego is still at large, but participants at the event called it pretty cool and an experience like no other. In sports-related news, tailgater football, the Super Bowl of UBC, concluded February 4th with the champions being t-shirted. Balls Deeper took home with the campus-wide divisional title, while Totem Park's Mythical Creatures took home with the divisional section. As usual, both went home with the coveted UBC Rec Champion shirts. The use of dragons, griffins, and sphinxes by the Totem team was deemed controversial, but UBC Rec supervisors were too frightened to ask them to leave the field. UBC Rec's Gladiator event this past February was deemed a humongous big success. The documentary surrounding the event, 24-7, has been heralded both as a ripoff of the HBO series and also a contender for Best Feature Length Film at this year's Oscars. The debate will be settled February 27th. A source from the secret organization, the UBC Triathlon Club, has finally come forward. Our anonymous informant has let slip that the rumors are true and that there are secret true ID workshops happening in room 100 of the War Memorial Gym. Officials are planning on breaking up the session, February 19th, from 2 to 4 p.m. Full-time staff Daryl Hull has declared that the secret ring, known for the rippling muscles and love of spandex, has been in the dark for too long. Wall sighting reports have been filed with UBC administration. More on this story as it unfolds. That's all for us here at Sports Desk. Have a happy and healthy reading week.